So our supervisors, Shanna Feshmael and Mary Reduda Roberts, noticed that while students were performing their clinical exams, there was some anxiety in the air. And students, even though they were well versed in the subject matter, were having anxiety responses during the clinical practical exams. Some of them, very intelligent ones, would actually collapse and have hyperventilation attacks. And so we thought there would be some way of solving this problem on, on our side of things. Right now is yeah, pertinently aimed at occupational therapy, but it also is applicable for other health sciences disciplines such as pharmacy, nursing, or even physical therapy, that sort of thing. And how bad is the pain? I'd say it's a constant seven. Are you taking medications? I'm taking some Tylenol for the pain, but other than that, no other medication. Well, virtual reality, you can create an environment and it's really, it's hard to describe the kind of, um, the effect that virtual reality appears to have on people in that it's not just visual. It doesn't just occlude your vision. It actually gives you a feeling in the space. And that's what we've seen in our simulations, that these students, they get a feeling in the space. And that helps them get used to the environment that's around them, that virtual environment that's a mimicry of the real environment. And then they feel more comfortable in the real environment. And not only that is it's repeatable. It can be done again and again in the same way. And it'll be, it would be cheaper than paying somebody's time over and over again, like an actor, to come in and do a simulation in person.